All right, so you went to Echo Fox, and then t- tell me what tell me what your life has been since then. Obviously, we we don't keep up as much, even though we have familiarities. Yeah, so I mean, just competing was kind of like my focus. Still, it still is playing CS:GO professionally from Echo Fox. I went to Misfits, and it was like my first time I went and lived in a gaming house. Mm-hmm. I was in California for a year. Um, that was an interesting experience, but it was more so like of like a more serious team than Echo Fox. So mm-hmm. we're traveling to a ton of tournaments. We're doing really well. I was playing with international players two french players yeah so it was like an interesting dynamic and then from there i came back to hot thick uh moved down here in frisco with yeah. the whole infinite situation and then um how was your experience with the infinite situation dude was it weird completely honest yeah completely let it loose uh, bro so pow, 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 you know as people know it was like an interesting mix it was um the three danish players and me and stan as a lot of two north american players probably like the least expected roster someone could imagine yeah uh with optics new team but um we were all gonna fly in to hear frisco move and like the night before they told us oh by the way you're gonna have to furnish your own apartment and pay for your internet and you don't have pcs and we're like wait what like the danes are like should we even board this flight yeah. like wait, wait they said they, they didn't have pcs for you no not for our apartments at least like in the office oh okay because i was yeah. gonna say I, bu- I know i bought pcs yeah. and i outfitted the, the like, csgo house with them but like we we're moving it we found out the night before we we're moving into empty apartments yeah like with nothing and we're like uh okay so we show up and then they eventually give us like a it's like a fifteen hundred dollar budget to furnish our whole apartment yeah and buy pcs yeah and so, so we, a pc by itself is fifteen hundred. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so we all went to ikea and kind of like did it ourselves or whatever um I don't think anyone really got a PC, so we were just like kind of going to the office, and then we were in like this closet type room. It was really cramped. I'm yeah, sure you remember. I do. Some people have it on the vlog. It was a really tight room. The internet was terrible. Yeah. Which added to like frustrations. We were like lagging horribly in matches. It was just like a recipe for disaster with the way everything was going. Um, it was uh like infinite was kind of like a mess too. People weren't. It didn't feel like optic. It did not feel like the first time I was on Optic, it felt like I was just slotted in some company and nobody really seemed to enjoy each other's time or like presence. And uh, it was just not a nice experience. And so the team split happened or whatever. And me and Peter were, our contracts were sold to Complexity. Yeah. And we kind of got out of that infinite situation before shit really went down. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy is that I remember when you guys came in and you guys, I like, I walk in when you guys were signing your contracts, and then you're like, "What the, the fuck is this, dude?" Dude. <laughs> so in esports, you know, contracts. I've seen contracts like most of my contracts like four or five pages, up to ten pages. What was that contract like? Forty-seven pages long. My contract, our contracts with Infinite. So I found like a local litigation or contract lawyer, yeah. went to them, spent a few hours going over it all. And even the lawyer was like, in my career of law, this is the worst and most unnecessarily long contract I've ever worked experience yeah and i was just like man like what is going on here i, I remember walking in i had my camera out and shit i'm like what's up boys everything good and you're like oh the fuck is this shit and i'm like, <laughs> I'm like what is that are you reading the bible is that a you, you it's like phone books i haven't seen phone books in a long time and then stan's like what the fuck is this man it's like it's like 57 pages long and i'm like uh make sure to read it you know it's, it's not it's, you know it, it didn't come from me so i mean i, I suggest you know whatever because yeah you know, I've always had a really good relationship with every single one of my players, and I've always said, you know, if there's an issue, fucking come to me, we'll fucking solve it. You know what I'm saying? This is just mm-hmm. insurance thing and whatever. But uh, you know, for me, it was it was one of those most most painful times in my life too that I couldn't be open about because I had just cut a deal in which I benefited greatly, uh, and you know, it was supposed to be something else that it wasn't. And little bit, like immediately knew that it was going to change. Immediately knew, and I, and there was mm-hmm. no no, there was no turning back. The, the 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 keys of that time so uh when you guys walked in and said that i was like i felt bad because you know you guys think that you guys are coming into the same old family thing and i'm sort of being put to the side and don't have like i'm almost being blocked from having relationships with the players like i have in the past with counter-strike it was different because you guys were there and we had a a previous relationship but yeah. you know with the overwatch league the way they kept me away from that and the league of legends stuff the way they kept me away from that was it was, it was kind of you know messed up for me because i didn't get to offer you know what I offer as uh as 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 me as Hector. Mm-hmm. 
so when that when that whole thing started going down, I'm like, man, this sucks. And I, I if I could have had this sooner, it would have been perfect because you guys train differently than than the than the Call of Duty team trains differently. And yeah. w- you know when we when we first got the space, we we had tape. We had tape on the ground saying we got to put a wall here, and this is Counter Strike. We're gonna put a wall over here. This is uh, Call of Duty, and then we had cameras. We like the whole the whole thing was visualized perfectly for this to be the creative and competition space for for all the competitive teams somewhere where they can feel as though they they belong. 